Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, happy Wednesday to you all. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope you're having some nice weather today. Um, it's very rainy today here where I live in America. But, um, you know, sometimes you just can't escape the rain. I moved from the UK, it's raining. I moved to America, it's raining. I just can't escape the rain, you know. Shame. But we have got new music on our hands coming from the gentleman over... Ghost 9. It's been a hot minute since I've listened to Ghost 9 music. In fact, they're a group that I don't really know all that well. I just know kind of one or two songs by them. Up All Night? Oh, my goodness. What a song. What a tune that is. But yeah, it's been a hot minute. I haven't kept up the tabs with the Ghost 9 guys and their music, so it'll be great to jump on back board jump back on board with them today so let's check out the title track from their newest ep called ruckus dj roll the intro Right. I wonder what kind of vibe we're going to go for. Because really, when I think of Ghost Night, my brain goes to a whole night. And that song is a banger. It's a banger of a tune. And uh, I'm kind of hoping we get something a little bit like that, like energetic energy-wise. But it is October. It is the Halloween season. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a little bit dark and dramatic either. So, let's go. Oh my goodness, starting in the head voice. Oh, this is actually a really interesting vibe because I don't know if it's supposed to be slow or fast yet. I still don't know which way this is going to go. Oh! I'm going to wait for that second rise. There it is. Oh! It's not as big as a, a big of a rise the second time around as I thought it was going to be. Oh, what an interesting lead-in for the second verse. This song kind of takes you on a journey because it it's like once you kind of get locked into what the style is, it immediately switches. And this kind of groovy anti-drop to start the chorus too. I'm not usually the biggest fan of an anti-drop, but I don't mind this one. And this like second half of the chorus too. It, it kicks up a gear just a little bit, but it's not this big bombastic drop either. Like, the song in general is quite subdued in terms of, like, how big it is. But they still incorporate the secondary rise very well, I think. Little gang vocal section to start the final chorus. Okay. Oh, 
There's a secondary vocal part there, I hear ya. Oh, they're gonna cut it there. I thought maybe we'd go like one more time through that um, chorus motif. Maybe to, like add it as like an outro. They got messed up. Okay, okay. It's a vibe, it's a vibe indeed. It's a, it's one of those beats that you kind of put on a stank face as you groove along, groove along to it and you know, a stank face or two a day, not a bad thing to have. It's, I think what the song does well is it pushes the energy of the song not through like the combination or the total sum of everything, but it drives forward using the beat very well. And that beat is so pronounced in a specific range that like that is kind of all your brain. That's like all that your brain perceives while you're listening to it. Like, how do I want to explain this in a good way? Let's I'm going to try and find the first pre-course. If, if we're in the verse, that's fine, too. OK, I need to go back a few a bit more, but. <sighs> so like we're, we've just caught the tail end of the verse and leading into the pre-chorus it there is a beat and it's not like a hip-hop beat where it's entirely like percussive and rhythmic there is tonal quality to it it's just so low in the range that you kind of don't hear it all that much but what you feel is like the rhythm and the rumble of it. And that sets you up for this really interesting build coming up where once you get to the pre-course, they kind of switch the style on how the beat is being portrayed. It's like they're using the string like synth sound and they're kind of giving a little bit more broader chord hit instead of like a constant rumble in the background. Because there's now like almost no bass whatsoever. And I think just creating that contrast to go switch like what's taking lead in the instrumental is really smart. Bringing the bass a little bit. White noise riser, double time to collapse. And then, again, we're back into bass only. Still tonal quality is there. Nice syncopated pattern. Riser, riser. And now you've got like an extra rhythmic bassy part, as well as that kind of siren-like synth in the background as well. And for the minimal number of instruments that get added into the second chorus release, you think that the, like, the increase really isn't that prominent. You feel that increase in power, but it's not like this massive hit. And I'm, at first I was wondering how I would think about it at the end of the song. I think it's actually a good amount that they've kicked it up for this final like, second half of the chorus because the song itself like overall isn't this big massive song. It's actually a quite tame song in terms of how big it is so i think this is like a really appropriate level of how much this song has song is growing through throughout the course so nice and controlled nice and controlled indeed i can dig it i can dig it it's i think this would be really cool on like a live stage format i think like pairing this song with some really intense choreo could be something visually really cool to see. Because I think the song can accommodate for quite an aggressive choreography. And the, occasionally you come across a song where it's like, especially on title tracks, where you think, hmm, I kind of wish it was a performance video rather than a traditional MV. And Ruckus kind of gives me that feeling. I don't know why. But you know what? All in all, it's a good song, and the fact that I got to jump on board back with a group that I have not listened to in a hot minute is always a great time. Glad I got to make my way around to these guys again. But 
that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me to say let's work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.